in data interpretation questions you will frequently come across the situation where you need to make percentage comparison for example in this question uh, we need to find out that which year had the minimum percentage defects so in this video we are going to look at some smart techniques and observation based approach to quickly eliminate the option so watch this video till the end and don't forget to hit the like button before we proceed just want to quickly tell you in case if you want to prepare under my guidance you can join uh, the plus or iconic subscription of anakini using this code chart 10 so keep learning now uh, we are given data about a manufacturer which manufactures laptops and we are given details about the pro, uh, production in various years and the defective number of defective laptops in various years so what we can do is we can quickly simplify these numbers these are very complicated numbers so we can make it round off and later on in case if two values are coming very close only then we'll consider exact values otherwise we can use the rounded approach for example if i make 46200 if i make it 46000 so the percentage reduction that i've done is still less than 5% okay it is still less than five percent so it would not affect ideally your answer in most of the exam so you can be rest assured so these values can be simplified like this so for example 46,210 i have written as 46,000 then 42,000 and so on and so forth similarly the defective laptops have been written in the thousand forms right now we need to compare this one so what i'll do is just for sake of your understanding i'll just write it in the percentage form you really don't need to do all these things because what you can do is after this video once you have understood the technique you can just observe the values and eliminate the option so here are the percentage values that we need to compare now it's very easy for you to figure out that if we compare this two years 2020 and 21 straight away we can eliminate this year 2020 why because in both the number of defective laptops were 3600 while the denominator is far more over uh, you know over here and this is far less so of course this cannot be the smallest percentage uh, value right we need to find out the year with the minimum percentage defects while this cannot be that so we can straight away eliminate year 2020 that's the first thing okay this should have not taken more than two three seconds for you similarly if i compare 2018 with 2021 okay now you can see that from 2018 to 2021 your numerator is increasing while your denominator is going down so definitely 2021 should have more defects than 2018 so 2021 cannot be our answer so let's eliminate 2021 also so we are left with just these two years now we want to make comparison over here so what let me just write down this values over here this value is written over here in the fraction form and this value is written in the fraction form so in uh, simple words we just need to compare these two fractions right now there are two methods to do it first you can do the cross multiplication so for example 46 threes it's 138 and 42 into 3.5 42 threes are 126 plus half of 42 that is 21 so one 47 will be the value over here so definitely this value is the smallest and you can say 2019 is my answer in case if you are finding it slightly complicated that is one more approach let's see and this is a percentage comparison based approach so you can see compare the denominators 42 to 46 can i say approximately it's an increase of 10 percent approximately well if i compare the numerator it's an increase of one sixth which indicates an increase of 16.66 percent isn't that i mean i'm sure you can make out 0 0.5 increase over 3 it's nothing but it's 1 sixth right so there is an increase of 16.66 percent in the numerator well there is just an increase of 10 percent in the denominator so when you increase your numerator by more percentage points definitely the fraction becomes bigger so this fraction should be greater than this one that means this is the least fraction okay so among the given years 2019 was the year with the lowest percentage defect I really hope you have understood this concept and you will be able to apply in different uh, data interpretation question. In fact, don't miss to attend my 6 p.m. data interpretation uh, uh, sessions that I'm conducting for all the CAT aspirants. Uh, they, are, they are good revision uh, in these last 10 days. So keep attending that. I have also updated the PDF for today's session. And apart from that, guys, once again, don't forget to hit the like button and please share it with all your friends. And do let me know in the comment section whether you are being benefited through such techniques and uh, if you want me to come up with more such videos right and before we wind up just want to quickly tell you some offers are going on in unacademy this is like one of the biggest offer you get uh, almost 30 percent discount right now so join unacademy plus or iconic courses using my code chart 10 my new batches are coming up so you can take advantage of that and if you want to stay connected with me if you want to get all the updates about my 
uh, videos that I'm uploading and the sessions, live sessions that I'm conducting. So please scan this QR code or uh, join my Telegram channel by using this ID, uh, by searching this ID. So stay tuned for more such video. Till then, bye-bye.